guys. Let me just check here and see if it's going. Yep. Ah, okay. So I want to show you my um, projects that I've been working on for my workshop. And let me set my timer because I'm doing this on my Stampin' Up! channel and I only have 10 minutes per video. Alrighty. So, um, I'll probably have to do this in two. I'll try to do it in one. <clears throat> Here's one of the cards I made. And I used these uh, blue cards that I got from somebody. I think I got them in a rack. I'm not sure. But they're the Joanne Craft Essential Blue. And so I used that as the base. And I used the Stampin' Up! Designer paper. And um, I used my Spellbinders die. I don't remember which one and cut out the designer paper and then a white and then I cut out, stamped and cut out the bird and the flowers and the sentiment and the leaf using the Language of Friendship stamp set. This is available in the regular catalog and in the um, celebration. Celebration ends at the end of this month so you still have a few days if you want to, uh, if you purchase $50 out of the regular catalog, then you can pick an item for free out of the celebration. And then I used this punch that coordinates and this punch that coordinates with the flowers. So that's how I did that. And I used um, a lot of papers from this scrap pack that I had gotten at Walmart earlier or last week in the pastels so this is coming really really handy and I used um, the baker's twine in pool party around the bottom and pop that up on dimensionals so that is uh, that card then here's an Easter card and it says happy Easter every bunny and again I use designer paper and this I just cut out and rounded the corners and I used the um, Every Bunny stamp and this is in the regular catalog. Really cute. And so I stamped it in close to cocoa. And then the colors I used to uh, color in were I used Lucky Limeade pool party cameo coral the bunny I colored in with crumb cake and whoop, what else did I use? I used, uh, where's the yellow? the yellow which is daffodil delight and um, Calypso Coral for the little chick's beak and feet. And I colored those in using my, I have all my pens in this. This is a container that holds combs. So when I buy a big pack of combs at the beauty supply, I save this because it holds the markers really well. And so I used my um, blender pen to color. If you want me to show you how I did that, I'd be more than happy to. And I realized for my workshop I only have one blender pen, so I may not have enough for everyone. So I decided to try my little um, Langnickel and Royal, Royal Langnickel, whatever, the little watercolor brush, and that worked really well. So I have three of these, and then I have the marker pen, so if more than one person wants to color using the ink, they can. And I used the beautiful pleated ribbon in um, come on, Joan. What's it called? Is this Blushing Bride? Blushing Bride. Beautiful pink. Um, what else? What else did I want to tell you? And designer paper and plain white cardstock. Okay. Oh, and the 
also Blushing Bride ink. This one I made using um, some of the scrap paper that I got and this is a die that I used and I didn't make the little basket per se I just cut it out of designer paper and this is the I got this in the clearance it's the uh, basket and blooms so that is the the die that I used and I did make some baskets um, and again I used those same ink colors to color in the bunny I used a Spellbinders die to cut her out. Um, I used my punch to cut out the sentiment. And then I used the Blushing Bride pleated ribbon again. This one is um, He is Risen. And again, I used designer paper and I stamped the image in um, close to cocoa and colored it in with the different inks and here I used the blue pleated ribbon down below these ribbons are gorgeous and I used a little brad up here in the corner and that stamp set is he is risen and it comes with these beautiful stamps so then, so this one needs a little more adhesive down here in the corner. Again, this is the Happy Easter Every Bunny or just Every Bunny stamp set. And I want to do one where he's throwing out the flowers, but then I put flowers down below or I use um, the twine in some way. So I want to uh, play with this a little more. Designer paper, I used some little yellow brads that I had in my stash. And the same ink colors, and I used the, um, the baker's twine in the pool party down here. And here's another Happy Easter Every Bunny. Again, I used designer paper. And I used some of the paper in my um, scrap stack. And then some plain white cardstock. The uh, Whisper White. Yeah, Whisper White. Um, Brad's I had in my stash. Again, the Pool Party Baker's Twine. And I punched that out with this again. And I used my Spellbinders dies to cut these out too. And my Big Kick. And so that, and then put this on dimensionals. Here are brads that I used, buttons that I have ready to go. And then these are the little baskets that I made. So this is the uh, Lucky Limeade cardstock paper. And I used the coordinate, or the, um, the designer paper in the pink and white polka dot and layered it and used some of my buttons that I have and I have uh, some of this Easter grass that I'm going to put in and then here's another one that I did with the designer paper and again I stamped and I just left those green this side I stamped these are just examples that people can use and colored in with the different inks and this is one of the tags that comes with the um, baskets and blooms. And so I'm going to fill those with uh, the Easter grass and have more Easter grass available and jelly beans. And I think I got everything covered. Yippee! So stamp sets, the bigs, dye, all the inks. Yeah! So those are my projects. Yay! I did it fast. So if you have any questions, if you want to see how I colored these, I'd be happy to do a demo. And um, just let me know below. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I'll just talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.